We will start out down here with the first question. In light of inflation and rampant government spending, what are you as governor going to do as your top two priorities to improve the state of Minnesota economically? We'll start with Mr. Marty. We need to open up mining in this state. Hold on, I, need to, I need to check a little bit of, I didn't have a chance we, we will pause the timer for a moment here while we get the technical issues worked out. Go ahead. Here we go. Test. Here we go. Go ahead. Yep, we're good. You are good to go. Questions? Thank you. As an electrical contractor, I know the pressure that comes with that. So thank you for that. We need to open up mining in this state. We need to open up business in this state. That is the only way to fix inflation. Somehow we're going to have to make our wages keep up with what Biden has done to our country, and that is inflate the money supply to a point where inflation is just a foregone conclusion at this point. So we have to make sure that we have opportunities for our children so that they can continue to prosper economically. Uh, Senator Gazelka. I'm Paul Gazelka. Uh, first of all, I'm going to remove Tim Walls. That'll be a good start. <laughs> then we'll work together and get rid of uh, Biden. So that, that's two things we can do. But it basically comes down to we're overtaxed and we're overregulated. And talk to any business owner. I'm a small business owner and a lifetime insurance agent, uh, a successful agency my whole career. But they will tell you that we're overtaxed and we're overregulated. So those are the two things that we can do a lot of. But frankly, it's not just about winning governor. It has to be governor, senate, house. And when we have all three of those things, we can go to town. Senator Benson. Thank you. Inflation is solved by increasing productivity instead of too much money chasing too few goods. So deregulate so that people can prosper. That's mining, that's forestry, that's ag. That's innovation in Medical Alley. That's the hopes and dreams of your heart that are regulated and taxed right out of the state of Minnesota. So let's change the way we think about success and productivity. Let's reward people who work hard and want to succeed. And use our natural resources, use the gifts of our people, put government in its place, and we'll solve the economic problems that are a headwind for us right now. Senator Jensen. Basically, there's two things that are driving First off, supply chain disruption is a huge issue. And government policies have created the supply chain fractures. We're seeing right in front of ourselves further fracturing in the supply chain of healthcare workers. We're seeing policies remove healthcare workers from being able to tend to sick people. That's causing the number of hospital beds to be available to even less. So government has got to quit with the policies that interrupt our, our vital supply chains. And I firmly feel that it's going to get worse before it gets better. The other thing that we can never allow to happen again is the critical disincentivizing of the worker. Whatever we incentivize generally will determine what happens. If we incentivize to not work, you see, we'll pay you full wages without you working, plus give you $600 a week. This isn't rocket science. Our inflationary cycle right now is basically the government's fault. Thank you. Mayor Murphy. Yeah, first things first, if the products are made in the United States, you don't have supply chain crises. You don't have inflation. You don't have any that's how we get our people back to work is by making our goods and products here. And we have to audit for all fraud, waste, and abuse in our government. My number one goal is to make Minnesota one of the smallest governments in the entire country because it can be done. As a man and a small business owner, I understand efficiency. I understand auditing the financial accounts and the books. And then we need to hold people accountable who's taking advantage of taxpayers and Minnesotans. And then when we find all that money, we make sure that we give it back to the people because it's the people's money. So that's what I would do right away in the beginning, is make sure that we're making products here in this country and we're auditing for all the fraud, waste, and abuse. Dr. Shah, please hold your applause to the final response, please. Thank you. Does anybody in this room think that the taxes are too damn high in Minnesota? 
I sure do. But the career politicians on the left and the right all have their pet component of the swamp that they like to fund. So what do they do? They tax you and me. They increase the regulatory burden on business builders and business owners. We chase away our best and brightest to better run states in the South. If we want to unleash the economic engine in Minnesota, an engine that should be a half trillion dollar economy, a state that is rich in agriculture, mining, high tech manufacturing, healthcare, we have to get government out of your business. And we have to put your dollars that you work so hard for back in your pocket. And if we leave the career politicians in St. Paul, they'll take every one of them. Here's how the discussion goes about the budget. It was 50 billion. The Republicans want to make it 51, the Democrats want to make it 53. How about we move it back into the 40s and beyond that? Let's start by doing things differently and shrinking the size of the budget in this state. All right, now you may applaud if you want. I ask the audience to wait on the applause. The candidate asks for applause. What do you do? Okay.